My name is Dustin Phillips, and I'm here with another guitar tip. All right, so today's lesson, we're doing Locrian, the last diatonic mode of this set. There's a whole nother set that we'll get into later. So, in the key of G major, so Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, uh, Lydian, Mixolydian, uh, Aeolian, Locrian. So it's going to be 12, 13 on 14. So we're going to go 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4. 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 1, 4, 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1. Just like that. Now, play it to some music. Then all you gotta do, scoot up one Ionian. So Ionian now. Now, you see what I did right there? I went Ionian, then back into Locrian. You now have domain over this entire fretboard if you've been practicing. So what I want you to do for your main practice now is this right here. I want you to put on a track in the key of G major and starting on Ionian and do what I do. Ioni. So, it took a while to go through that, but that's how you practice this. Once you have that down, you can start moving it around and starting it in, in uh, B major or start it in C major, or you can start it in A minor if you start on Aeolian. <laughs> Aeolian, then Locrian, then Ionian. So C, Ionian, will work in A minor. And when you hear people say the relative major, relative minor, that's what they're talking about. If I plug in Ionian on C, right? A, B, C. So C major, one, two, three, four, five, six. So on that sixth one, so Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian. So that'd be right there. That's your six. That's your relative minor of C major. So 
you should be practicing this every day. You should be playing that whole entire thing front to back. And in this, this is the end of this, this segment. So I'm going to start. The next one is all about how to use this scale with the pentatonic and use it creatively to where you can't tell if you're using pentatonic or diatonic. Because if you listen to a lot of people play, pentatonic is rampant everywhere. Everybody knows the pentatonic scale. It's easy to play, but you can get locked in it real, real easy. You know what I mean? Once, once we're done this for a little bit, this new thing, I'm going to start another uh, playlist of the three note per string scale. That is the scale that will set you apart from other players because this, this will give you tools that you can use to really make some crazy sounds and, and be able to creatively move across the fretboard in, in more ways than just horizontal and vertical. You'll be able to like do all sorts of crazy jumps and moves around and little legatos. And that's another thing. We'll get into legato. We'll get into speed picking. We'll get into alternative. We'll get into economy picking all these little techniques that are required to be, I guess, a good guitar player. But now you have the foundation. You have everything you need to start, right? You, you don't, you can't start guitar until you have this knowledge down of what these scales are and how they work with music. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Pretty soon you'll be able to put on any track of any kind of music there is and we will listen to the music, you'll see what it's asking for, and you'll be able to give it what it needs because you know all these scales. So, in summation, practice, practice, practice. Practice every day, practice if you're not, if you, if you feel like this isn't for you, if you feel like you're not getting this, you're not practicing enough, okay? I would highly suggest watching uh, Two Set Violin because they're all about the practice. That's exactly what it all boils down to. It's no innate ability, it's no God-given talent, it's practice. And with that, goodbye. Be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah.